Welcome back. We start off with President Abdel Fattah Sisi and his Cypriot counterpart Nikos Anastadiadis and the Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Anastokis uh, holding a press conference today. During the conference, uh, President Sisi stressed the significance of bilateral strategic uh, mechanism. He also asserted uh, the necessity of coordinating the political positions facing the regional and international files to overcome the actual challenges facing national security. The president noted that the foundational agreement of the Middle East Gas Forum is an important uh, aspect to coordinate the cooperation among the three countries, adding that Egypt, Cyprus and Greece represent a successful model for the maritime demarcation to benefit from the available resources, especially gas and oil. For his part, the Cypriot president said that Egypt is a significant partner for the EU and a main factor to establish stability in the East Mediterranean region, asserting that the trilateral ties are not targeting any country but aims to enhance cooperation. Meanwhile, the Greek prime minister said that the cooperation among the three countries is a model of understanding and represents their common vision, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic and its economic impact. He also accused Turkey of unfounded claims of control, describing its actions as provocative. Concerning the Libyan file, the Greek prime minister said that the political resolution must be from the Libyans themselves without any foreign intervention. President Abdel Fattah Sisi arrived in Cypriot Captain Nicosia to take part in the 8th Egypt-Cyprus-Greek Trilateral Summit. The head uh, of state met with the Cypriot President Nikos Anastasiades, who expressed his appreciation for the President's visit and the profound bilateral ties developing in various fields. President Abdel Fattah Sisi arrived in the Cypriot capital, Nesovla, to take part in the 8th Egyptian-Cyprus-Greek Trilateral Summit. The head president met with the Cypriot president Nikos Anastadiadas, who expressed his appreciation for the president's visit and the profound uh, bilateral ties developing in various fields. Anastadiadas uh, asserted Cyprus's keenness to achieve more tangible steps to enhance the cooperation between the two countries, as well as uh, boosting the trilateral cooperation mechanism with Greece, especially with the role played by Egypt to establish stability and peace in the region and its efforts to counter terrorism and illegal migration. For his part, the President praised the continuous development in the bilateral relations, hailing the Cyprus supporting stance to Egyptian and regional as well as interventional events and organizations. The two leaders stressed the importance of continuing implementation of the joint projects with the framework of the trilateral cooperation to be the model to follow the coordination and consultation reflecting the distinguished Egyptian Cypriot ties. The meeting also tackled the latest developments in the regional files and efforts exerted to reach settlements in these countries, as well as boosting the national institution to reach political resolutions and establish security and stability for the region. Also, the president met with the Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Metsokis, uh, where the president asserted Egypt's keenness on developing bilateral ties. The head of state added that the demarcation agreement is a great proof of the strong relations binding the two countries. Presidential spokesman Bassam Radi said that the trilateral summit within the framework of boosting and political consultations and visions exchange in facing the challenges of the Mediterranean and Middle East regions are witnessed. He added that the summit aims to evaluate the development in various fields following the ongoing projects being implemented within the framework of the agreement. The 8th uh, Egyptian, Cypriot and Greek trilateral summit was held in Esoa in, on Wednesday. The summit came within the framework of boosting the distinguished trilateral ties and enhancing political consultations. The summit tackled the, the exchange of visions among the three countries to overcome the challenges facing the Mediterranean and Middle East region. The summit seeks to deepen regional cooperation with neighboring countries focusing on the cooperation in the fields of energy, migration, terrorism, as well as combating the COVID-19 pandemic. Egyptian expats start voting on Wednesday in the first phase of the parliamentary elections. Voters are to send their ballots through the fast mail to guarantee they arrive at the embassies between the 21st and the 23rd of October. More details. 
The first phase of parliamentary elections kicked off on Monday by allowing voters to find their ballot papers online on the National Elections Authority website in order to resend them to the embassies and diplomatic missions in different countries during the voting days. Egypt's ambassador in Algeria, Ayman Musharrafa, said in a statement that the embassy has completed all the preparations needed for the elections. He noted that the Egyptian expats should register at the National Elections Authority's website and print their ballots, then to send them to the embassy's address after voting. The ambassador pointed out that polling cards will be sent to the premises of the diplomatic missions abroad on October 19 and 20, while casting ballots will start on October 21st to 23rd. He added that envelopes of the polling cards would be sent to the embassy via mail at the embassy's address on the condition that the voters attach copies of their IDs or passports to the voting cards. Minister of Immigration and Egyptian Affairs Abroad, Nabila Mokram, conducted several online meetings with Egyptians abroad to explain all needed steps for casting ballots in Egypt's parliamentary elections 2020. The ministry also released several explanatory videos needed for voting and answer all frequent questions related to voting abroad. According to National Election Authority, NEA, all expats who registered their data on NEA website from September 27 to October 10 will easily vote in the House elections. However, those who fail to register earlier will not be able to vote on the website to get a ballot paper. The electoral silence of the House elections started on Sunday ahead of the Parliament elections. During the electoral silence period, all candidates are prohibited from practicing any form of electoral advertising in order to allow voters to choose freely. According to the election schedule, the candidates' campaign ends October 18th. A total of 63 million Egyptians is eligible to cast their votes in the coming parliament election due to convene on October 21st to 25th after updating the voters' database by the NEA. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, the Education Minister, Finance Minister and Industry and Trade Minister held a press conference today. And during that conference, uh, the Prime Minister announced that uh, improving the financial status law of employees in the education system has been approved and will be applied in next January. Madbouli said that the Cabinet reviewed a number of important files, adding that President Abdel Fattah Sisi's directives uh, directs improving the financial status of the teachers. He said that the government exerted utmost effort to push the production wheel. He added that the international institutions hailed the Egyptian economic performance during COVID-19 and he called on Egyptians to adhere to the precautionary measures to avoid any repercussions. For his part, the Minister of Education said that the teachers are the core of, of the educational operation, adding that this year will be an appreciation year for all teachers. The Ministry of Health reported on Wednesday 158 new coronavirus cases and 12 deaths. In its daily report, the Ministry of Health also announced that the number of recovered cases rose to 99 from hospitals after receiving the appropriate medical health care.